Greetings everyone and welcome back to Backpack Hero where we are beginning a new run. We have got the basic setup, it is a standard run. We've got a rough wooden buckler, a wooden sword and a meal. And uh, we've already got two fights, nothing else particularly interesting to look at here. Uh, we've, we do want to take you out as quickly as we can the Gremlin because I want to get that coin. But you're going to be the easier one to take down. I can take you down fairly convincingly in this round there we go and then i'm going to need to gobble down some food there's no way i can take you out so i what i want to do is make sure that i can uh, weather the incoming storm but i would like to try and pull your health down as quickly as i can because i do believe that you will leave after a little bit there we are dealt with you and now it's just a matter of uh, wearing down our rat wolf over here uh, 10 incoming damage, I'd rather not have to deal with that at all, and I can't e easily get through your block, so this is going to be more of a waiting turn there, but that's fine, every now and then just slow and steady wins the race, there's no reason to take any uh, unnecessary damage. I mm, Bricks and general structures, you have to be ready to use those, they're a very interesting device within the game. They can lead to some amazing gains. Uh, I could grab an early key if I want to do, but we're going to get a bunch of stuff from this uh, win anyway, so I think we'll just wait on that. Right, opening up with the uh, normal open, uh, try and uh, give us some uh, long columns so that we can put down hats and indeed shoes. Uh, no hats here though, but I will take a lucky ring. I will happily take that in fact uh, We are going to need to move things around just a smidge in order to be able to make sh uh, use of the sapphire uh, And that is pretty much everything we can grab. I guess well a fire star hmm. No, it's not gonna have as, as long legs as a heart ring. I feel we're gonna have the heart ring Right, on to the next battle, and we'll see what we're going to do here. Okay, so we're automatically going to get some sticky, and we're also going to get some fire. When your turn ends, creates fire in a random adjacent or diagonal space. Adds two burn to self on use and is destroyed. When an item behind this is used, adds one burn to self. Now, you could deal with that fairly easily. Um, and we're going to have to, because there's not much we can do here to avoid it. Uh, I will block the incoming damage, but once this gets popped down, I'm probably going to tuck it into this corner, and we'll see where that wants to randomly move. Uh, you're going to just use four burn at this point. Now, burn is not really going to do too much damage to me. I could take you out with the eight there. Yeah, that's not too bad. You did move out across to the side, but it didn't really matter for us, honestly. All right, uh, let's try and maximize one whole... Uh, side so that we can put down any gloves or anything that needs to be kept at a distance from others Ooh, uh, Lucky hand axe there can be used one time each turn must have used a consumable this turn in order to use it on use deals nine damage Wow That's very nice because uh, shurikens are consumables uh, Let's see already so I think they are considered consumables They might not be actually no because the the destroyed is just an effect and that's an effect that all consumables have uh, so I don't, even though you are effectively consuming them, I don't think the game treats them as such. Shame. Shame. Uh, we could pop that one up there, though. Uh, just tuck that in, because I'm not getting any kind of uh, benefits from these. I guess we want to take a consumable, uh, consumable then. Um, sure, I'll bring that one along so I can open up strong with this. There we go. Now then. Uh, okay, nothing's going to be using any curses, but we absolutely want to take you down as quickly as we can. So let's just open with this and then wallop you and follow up and you as well. And there we go. You're already in a terribly bad position. I am so sorry about that. Actually, I'm not. That is a complete lie. I apologize. There we go. Well, no, I am a little bit sorry because this is a small rat wolf. It's almost like bullying. Right, there we go. Uh, really? Wow, okay, we got three lucky items there. That's kind of wild. Of course, we did kill the Wraith, and that gives us mega luck, but... All right. Uh, add eight health, uh, haste to self. The the shurikens, we definitely want. Uh, oh, none shucks. <laughs> the shurikens, what, what on earth am I talking about? Uh, let's get you in there. Now, this is going to be against too many items for my liking. Now, for each adjacent and empty space, I have had an opportunity to read the uh, comments on the first video, and someone rose the interesting question of, as long as I am generating passive block, 
or I block first, would this damage to me be blockable? And that is something I very much want to find out. Very much want to find out. Uh, on use creates a herb. Well, now that is a very good, uh, good addition there. That is a stonkingly good addition. I think, ooh, having this here to get you an extra bit of damage, I mean, there's not many other places I can put my weapons then. Hmm. Let's have a think, let's have a think. I could fit this over there and both of my weapons then get a, a benefit, but really, I would want to be using this at all time. Two damage to self is not great. However, I could use one point to get a herb, consume it, use that, then use this. That costs me nothing. That is a potent mix. Keep the key, lose the heart ring, I guess. Um, what does it say? Create a herb in this row. So I, I'm going to need this over there. Ah, I can't have something here. Well, that is a bit of a problem, isn't it? Uh, for each item... For each adjacent item, plus one damage yourself. On use. Hurts three damage yourself. Two times... Why is it doing that much damage to me? Oh. Oh, the sapphire is increasing the damage it will do at all times. So, including to me. Well, you tricky little scallywag, you. Rude, frankly. Uh, but I, I, <laughs> there's a part of me that likes it. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'm kind of amused. All right, that, uh, that works out. This will do 10 damage this way. Um, this will create something on this row so I can keep the key. There we go. I'll have to lose the ring, but that's fine. Uh, clever. Clever little so-and-so. Oh, I imagine anything that adds to the potential damage output, including things like status effects. So if I made that poisonous, I really couldn't afford to have it nearby. Ooh, and likewise this. Hmm. Let's just check how that would work. Yeah, I, I can't see it because I'd have to activate it first. This is an unfortunate situation we find ourselves in, I must say. An unfortunate situation indeed, because uh, all of these things I kind of want. Oh well, it is what it is. Um, I guess I can just throw these, use them up, get them out of the way and then attack. Hark! You are greeted by a member of the patrol! Um, I'll take a better shield if you got one. From beneath his bushy tail, he pulls out a shield. What, what are you keeping beneath your bushy... Hmm... Questions. Uh, I mean, it is better. But it has to be an adjacent item. Which means I want to swap these... Ah, oh, you float though. Drat. Drat, dam, and blast. Um, yeah, then there's no easy way for me to maneuver these. Hmm, that is vexing, I must say. Uh, however, using this to buff... This item is a better play, in my opinion. I'm still going to have two items here that can hurt me. Um, yeah, it's it's not great. It, it really isn't great, but it is what we've got. There we go. Uh, we are hopefully going to get our level... Well, in fact, we'll get our level the next area. I, can, I, I should be able to level up in just a spare area. Yes, we can. Okay, that's fantastic. That's exactly what we needed. Uh, right then. Let's shimmy this area out a bit. How about... Well, that's great. Let's take that away. I could move you all the way across here and try and cluster everything I want over on the side. But I think I need this spot open to me. So I'm going to do this instead. We'll see if this helps out. Let's shimmy you around. There we go. That's in a better position. Can I rotate this at all? No, it's only this row. All right, duly noted. Uh, however, I can put it there. And this should allow me to get this leveled up nice and fast. I'll just use that up straight away, ideally. All right, let's see what we've got over here. Oh, 
Playing possum. A single flower upon his chest. The possum has been here for several days. Poor fellow. Pray for him. You kneel to pray for him. He opens a single eye. Nobody has ever done anything nice for me before, he says. You aren't here just to loot me. He gives you a gift and then lays back down. Well, uh, cutting board, rare. When an adjacent consumable is used, adds four block. <sighs> well, I mean, hmm. that is kind of thrown out what I was going for, but all right. Uh, I could position that there, move you up. This is now next to it, no matter what I do. Uh, however, the herb, which I'll put there, can be consumed. Now, this is unfortunately next to two items, so we're going to take a bunch of damage with the, <laughs> this weapon. But still, I want to try and use it. All right, okay, opening up. Fire that off. Uh, fire this off on you, I think. There we go. Make a herb. We'll pop that one right there. Thank you. Right. Oh, just uh, use and destroyed. Duly noted. Uh, I would like to use the whetstone. I should have used it earlier, actually. Uh, but sure, let's go ahead and reduce the incoming damage from you. Now, unfortunately, I'm not going to get to use this right now. But I can upgrade some damage. But that, oh, that is going to be upgrading this damage. Yeah, I only just noticed that. Still, took a chunky bit of damage here. Oh, well. All right, let's go ahead, consume this. We'll pop it over here. Once again, eat that. Uh, that gives us some passive block. Now, I want to take you out if I can. Uh, this does 15... Uh, not quite there. I could block and then do a bunch of damage to myself, but uh, actually we'll have loads of blocks, so sure. We'll just take you down with that. I can still use this on you. Let's go with that, yeah. We'll weaken you. You're now going to die from the poison, which is fine by me, but I do need to move that away. I can't have this gaining damage. Uh, once again, let's go ahead and eat this. Yonch. And we'll just upgrade damage once again. Uh, there's not a lot I'm going to be able to... Well, actually, 13 damage we'll be able to get through, and it will weaken you as well. So that's fine for now. In fact, I'll increase the damage even further. But yeah, the, the damage this now does to me is painful. Uh, though, that being said, on use, it only two damage yourself. This isn't upgrading with this. Why did I think it was upgrading to it? Huh. For some reason, I came away with that impression, but it doesn't look like that's actually happening. Hmm, maybe I could try that out then. I guess we'll find out. Oh, I should have blocked first. I guess we'll find out. Okay, well, that makes this item significantly easier to use. Right, our current setup is not ideal for a lot of reasons. I'm um, going to pop you down there. Uh, that will still be next to an item being used, which is good. But now, this isn't going to get the same effect. I really do want to see if this causes weakness for us, though. Uh, it's only adjacent weapons, sadly. I guess I could move that across there. No, there's no easy way to get this to work the way I want it to. And uh, get the auto block. Shame. Crying shame, that one. I think we're going to have to just stick with what we've got. Uh, that being said, I can use this down there just to, to find out. Uh, it could go very, very south very, very quickly. But we'll see what we can do. I would love to take the bronze brass plate with us. But unfortunately, no. Uh, so given that, we're going to grab uh, you. Pop that over there. And... Well, that being said, let me just shimmy this around and see if that affects it again. No, the sapphire is definitely increasing the, the pain to us. That is so interesting. But this, when it increases damage, does not increase the, the damage to ourselves. Okay, so I wasn't imagining it. I'm not mad. Mostly. Uh, right. Well, I'm going to try and maintain a low damage to us for now. Uh, we'll see how that one goes. But that's a bit of inconsistency there. Kind of surprised. Usually the game is a lot more consistent with the way it does things. Oh, hello. He kneels on the floor of the dungeon, carefully stringing his bow. 
I've heard rumors of a rat returning to this dungeon, he says. Are you the one from Haversack? You should join us. Yes, he says. I've heard good things. I'll be sure to stop by. He quietly returns to his work. Very well, I'll leave him to stringing his bow. Wouldn't want him to uh, do that, Paulie. Right, healer, two decent damage dealers, a coward, and you're going to probably run away reasonably soon. Uh, Alright. First and foremost, going to buff some damage. Now, this is this is the test. Does that affect it? No, only to enemies. All right. Only as it to enemies. Okay, so that that's that's very good to know. Extremely good to know, actually. All right, I want to do a good chunk of damage. Uh, let's see. So we can pop that down. If I use this, I can use the hand axe, and I'll get some additional protection because. I'll be using the cutting board. There we are. And the hand axe in there. All the way down to 8. It's not terrible. Well, actually, you're going to restore 13. So it kind of is a bad play, honestly. I should have uh, been going for someone I knew I could take out. That being said, you were of equal health. So it was 6 of 1 and half a dozen of the other in that one, I'm afraid. Right. Use you. Use you. Grab this. Thank you. Nom. And we'll take you out with a pretty crunchy blow. There we are. Right. Uh, we are probably going to work on the coward neck. Well, actually, no. We probably want to take out the healer, honestly. We want to geek the mage. That's a 19. That's really, really far too low, if you ask me. Let's upgrade our weapons a little bit. Get a bit of extra, uh, extra fuel in us. Uh, nine and six. I could go for another block if I really... You know what? I will. And we're not going to do too much damage here, but we are going to get through your shield, but you're just going to heal it up completely. There was nothing really that we were going to be able to do that turn. Mostly, we're focusing right now on just gaining uh, some extra uh, power on our weapons, which is working well for us so far, I would say. Uh, yeah, let's keep going with that. There we go, you're almost dead. Next turn you will be. The fact that you're constantly buffing your whole party is a bit of a pain, I must confess. Right, grab the herb. Get another shield. Realistically, I want a shield again, but... Uh, let's see, how much damage will you do? You will take them out in one go so they won't heal but i'll still take a wallop load of damage now where it'd be better for us to uh, to shield up this time we've got to, oh damn it i should have still used that ability uh i should have uh it wasn't really going to do that much uh to help us here but still it would have been nice to have used it since i had it available right now i want a shield i want this there we go and how much damage should we do with this now 23 not too shabby, all things told. You're just going to continue harassing us from the back there. I do wish that if this only had one place that it could place something, that's the place it would go. That it wouldn't uh, faff around any further than that. Uh, sure, let's just do some damage. There we go. Got through your shield and did a uh, healthy 10 points of damage. But we are really hurting. We're almost below half health. Oh, well, no, we are one point below half health, I should say. All right, let's grab this. Oop, that is very much not what I wanted to do. Oh, that would have lost us the cutting board. My goodness, I'm all fingers and thumbs today. All right, there we are. And we're not taking any damage, so we'll just finish that fight. All right, okay, that was not the best engagement. Oh, we did get lucky on the vampire blade, though. That's big. We can use this to heal... That is actually very big. And we can constantly increase its damage, thereby healing more. I would like to keep the Lucky Ring. That's more important to me. Realistically, I, I would like to keep a, a lot of things. But, uh, well, I guess I can pop that down here. And at least this way I can get the Vampire Blade up a little bit to have a little bit of weak on it as well. Uh, that'll have to do. Unfortunately, we're saying goodbye to the key, I guess. Uh, well, that might be a chest with a key, so I'll 
take it with us, but we'll discard it before the next battle. But this isn't there. Oh well. Alright, saying goodbye to you. Ah, oh, damn. Well, this is a difficult one. Passive block is almost always worth it. Especially with this weapon. So we're going to take that. I'm going to just say goodbye to the sapphire. I can take this because I can use it up. But that is a shame. Um, Alright. Well, that's going to have to just be the way it is. Let's move on. Now, what I would like are some nice, easy opponents where I'm going to be able to uh, replenish my health a bit. Please and thank you. Uh, first, then, let's go ahead, do a bit of damage. Let's try and whittle you down, because you're going to be a bigger problem for me in the long run with your goo attack. Let's use one point here to get the consumable in. Do a little bit more damage. Increase our overall block. And then go for a drink. We'll restore three health. Now we'll take five health. So we'll lose two health, all things told. Or I could just block it all and just not take the health damage and increase the damage that we're going to be doing with the Vampiric Dagger in the long run. Uh, let's try and pop this as close as we can to each other. They will disable the Lucky Ring and disable this, but that's fine. We'll re-enable them before the, the fight is over. Uh, that The next turn, they're going to spam out a little bit further. Now, what are you going to do? We'll add four regeneration to all enemies. That is not okay. Uh, I would like to get the... Oh, once again, I've done it wrong. There we go. Cobble that down. I'm going with another 11 points of damage, but after I've healed up a bit, or rather, given myself some block. And once again... Hmm, yeah, once again. Alright, let's go for an attack. This will do 13 points of damage. Down to 7 now. You're going to hit me again with more goo. Three of them. So that's completely disabled now. And I kind of... This is unfortunate. I'm going to have to get rid of them these this turn. Yeah, you're heading off this turn, which is... A shame. Had to use up that level. This has been completely disabled. Well, actually, no. It, it was disabled while it was underneath it, as, as was the the uh, nunchucks. Can I, with two points, do anything worth doing? How much damage are you doing now? You're doing seven damage. I can take you out, which means that this will block enough damage. We're just going to have to say goodbye to the coins. There's nothing I can do about it. Very sad. Uh, well, actually, I only got five points of damage, I should say. But still. Uh, it's okay. Goodbye, five coins. I will miss you. Right. Okay, well, you're going to be a significantly easier opponent to take down now. Let's make sure I've got some blocks. Hit you once. Hit you twice. I'm a little bit better off than we were when we came into the fight. Finally, another level up. My lord, I need it. Uh, we've only got two spaces that I can expand, so I'm going to move this even further back. And expand. Band out the area over here. There we go. Now the reason for that is so I can shimmy these along. This way I can get both of them uh, getting the dark wet stone effect. All right, <laughs> it's got a mechanized toy. Well, I love it, but <laughs> I mean that with an item which is going to always generate something that I could use it on would be amazing. However, I don't think we're going to be taking it this time. That is, that is a shame because it would have been grand. But right now, I think this is uh, the better play for us. Uh, still, I could bring that down or I could just leave it. Well, taking that little bit of damage. Hmm. Isn't too bad for us. As long as it's only a little bit. Yeah, I'll do one damage yourself, but this will buff everything over time. So I think this is the better setup for us right now. Yeah, let's go with this. Finish choosing. As much as I was driving it in that direction, I kind of do want it to be affected by the shield. Uh, that being said, I could achieve the same thing by doing this, I suppose. Uh, though we would lose out on the dagger then. Mm. Uh... Is there a way that I can get this to work? Yeah, there is, actually. That 
does still give us everything we need, and then I can get that out of the way. It's kind of uh, an hodgepodge of a, of a setup, but uh, we've got a valuable, awesome healing. Right now, I'm going to go for the healing instead. There we go. Almost back to full health. That was a messy start, wasn't it? Right, we've got the bashing shield. Does damage equal to your current block? Deals zero damage, removes 50% of block when used. Or we can have the happy buckler. Uh, adds five block on use and the energy required to use it goes up. When attacked, the energy required to use it goes down. Uh, we've got shoes as well. We've got a new key, which I could pick up. And I think I will. And there we are, thank you very much for that. Keys are always fairly cheap. And let's head on to our next area. Slowly building up the food over there, getting a bonus for the floor that we're on. There we are. Hello. Ah, right, okay. So you're not a summon, so I can heal on you if I would like to. Uh, let's get a bit of a consumable on the go. Obviously use this. Uh, I've already got enough healing, but... Well, I guess I could just use that straight away. Uh, how much damage will this do to me? This will only do one damage to me, so I'm still well within the sort of area that I can attack with. So let's just take you out. Keep the ads down as much as we can. Uh, we'll use that, add some luck to ourselves. Not that we really need it for the, the final battle here, but also a little bit of burn. We'll continue. What? Oh. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that hat uh, caught me off guard, not going to lie. All right. Uh, once again, uh, this time actually I'm going to use the, the whetstone. And then I'm just going to pop that in. There we go. I'm not going to take any damage this turn, so uh, that isn't a problem. Get a little bit more uh, protection there. Uh, how much damage should we do with this? 11. We'll get up there. There we go. Now, the sticky will have to go... Uh, well, as long as we don't let it anything be there, we should be fine. Be there, really? Did I just do that? I did. Ugh. Right. Okay, we've got 22 here. How much damage do you do at this point? You're only doing 15. I would need both of these to take you down. Uh, you are doing 4, so I would need... Uh, we should actually be able to do this all in one turn. So let's get that there. Use it. I'm going to go ahead and use you to do 15. You to do the rest, and, well, actually, you're only going to do four. Mm. Still, let's go for it. All right. While up you there, finish the job there. We'll take, well, actually, we won't even take nine damage, so that's fine. But you are going to summon another one. All right, this is also a summon. All right. At this point, we're doing five damage with the Vampiric Knife. So the Vampiric Knife by itself will take you out. Put that down. You're only doing 16, so I should be able to wallop you quite convincingly. But you've got 9 protection there, which is the problem. Uh, let's go for it. Womp. And then... Womp. I'm going to take 9 damage. You're going to apply another Sticky Honey, which is a bit of a problem. Because I'm not doing anything to the Queen Bee right now. I very much need to get there, but every time I'm using my shield, I am I am building up the, the potential damage output of my weapons. Uh, right now, I'm thinking, let's take you out of the, the running straight away. Use that once. You're going to do 15, and you're going to use poison, which isn't great. How much damage do we do here? Only 17. I could take you out completely. Uh, no. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this so I block all of that incoming damage, at the very least. And then we're going to remove you so that we're dealing with one less problem. Now that's going to do straight health damage, but with the Vampiric Blade it won't matter to us, ultimately. There we go. Now, we're going to bring in some more reinforcements. That's fine. We're going to use this. Get another herb there. Consume that. At this point, I could increase their damage even further, or I could just start leeching life for a bit. Uh, actually, yeah, let's go ahead, take you out of the running completely. And we're going to start using the Vampiric Dagger on the next turn, I think. You've got 16. I can eliminate you in one shot. That's not an issue. In fact, let's go ahead and do that. Use this, and then take you out. 
Got a bit of healing there. Very good bit of healing. Now, it'll only heal as much damage as I actually do. And since we can't over damage something, it, yeah, that does create a bit of a problem. Uh, right. Got a lot of incoming damage this time. Much more than I am comfortable handling. So let's just take... Ooh. Let's go ahead and do this damage first. And then wipe you up. There you go. We are going to take a solid 10 damage and get 3 poison. So at this stage, I very much just need to start building these up and doing loads of damage to the queen. So given that, uh, I'm not going to worry about the healing this turn. I'm just going to use that a second time. There we go. 22 damage in one hit. Need to start focusing aggressively. You're going to summon another one in a moment. Uh, but this already does 22, so I can just take that out, and it'll still only do... Well, she's doing three damage herself. Oh, do these count? Right, I hadn't been noticing that. Nevertheless, I'm going to do it anyway, just to get that on the go. And then I'm going to hit you with 13 points of healing. Almost back to full health. It's counteracting the poison quite aggressively, which is wonderful. Uh, I'm going to spend a point taking that out, spend a point increasing the uh, soldier's buckler. Uh, sorry, using the soldier's buckler. And 25. We're not going to take you out before you can get the uh, sticky honey down, but that's fine for now. I can eliminate you with the vampiric blade. I can eliminate you with the nunchucks by itself, but then I've got to deal with 24 incoming damage. I can do that by doing this. 24 damage and the 12 poison is desperately bad. So let's see how this one goes. Now at this point, I just need to be focusing on doing damage at all times. I will need the Soldier's Buckler to just increase a little bit. We're going to take 12 damage in one hit. But that's fine because next turn we win. There we go. I will use Nunchucks to deal with you and then heal up a chunk there because we may still die I, I think you can still die after winning the boss fight but that actually came really close it was a messy engagement that was that was more my fault than than anything else but uh we came out the other side so you know a win is a win almost losing is exactly the same as winning oh my good lord there's a lot of people what on earth has happened here king stuck ah the famous purse have we met? No, dear girl. But King has heard of your exploits in the dungeon. You are taking treasures that rightfully belong to him. Everything in the dungeon beneath Ordaria belongs to King. But without it, we wouldn't even... Silence! This will be your only warning. If we see you again in the dungeon, the consequences will be severe. Our armies will eradicate this pathetic place. Don't try to be a hero, but the, uh, the game is called Backpack Hero, though. Well, okay, we've got a dozen people to talk to. Uh, oh, hello. Who be you? I see you've returned from the dungeon, Matthew. As have I. Yes, it's true. You are not the only one who explores those depths. Matthew. Matthew awaits you on standard runs in the dungeon. He gives you items to help you get started. Perhaps I will meet you down there. I might be able to give you a few pointers. I'm also looking for lost sparks. Have you heard about these mysterious sources of energy? We can use them to open new depths in the dungeon. That's exactly what I need. I've been trying to get deeper in the dungeon. I think my mum might be trapped down there. She disappeared in a raid. Same one that ruined the old town. Hmm, yes. We need lost sparks to find those who are lost in the deep dark depths beneath Ordaria. What we need is an adventurer who can brave the depths and find those lost sparks. And we need to get some more villagers here. We'll need all the information we can get. Finding lost sparks won't be easy. Let me show you some of the things we can research together. If you're interested, of course. There are still more areas to unlock. Do you have lost sparks for me? Yes, I do, in fact, have a lost spark. That partial green there means that we do meet the requirements to uh, research the item. And this gives us the key to the deep caves. I see you are becoming an experienced explorer already. You've brought back lost sparks. We can use them to fashion keys. Hmm, yes, I know all about these magical relics. They are so small, you can just slip them into your pocket. They won't even take any space in your backpack. Find the staircase that leads down deeper into the deep caves. 
Beneath the crypt, a strange rocky area holds many secrets. That will be the second dungeon area. That's fantastic we've already got that unlocked. Do you think my mum is down there? Perhaps. But continue to collect lost sparks. There are many areas deeper still. Be warned, the dangers there are great. Well, hopefully. Where there are great dangers, there is great loot. This town, it needs a protector. Therefore, I am here. Your hands are dirty. You need a more dignified weapon. To learn more about the ancient art, I offer this training. Archery lessons. You start with these items. So, uh, two short arrows, a composite bow, and a slat shield. Once you have mastered the basics, we can expand our knowledge of bows and arrows. Fly straight, archer. Okay. No unlocked building, though. Oh, this is a new face as well. Let's go and say hello. Hazel? Purse? I remember you from school. You were just starting around the time I graduated. That's me. I always thought you were so cool. Everyone always loved me at the old schoolhouse. Before it burned down. That's why I became a teacher. Now, if only we had a schoolhouse. Could you build one? For each commercial decoration nearby, plus 5% efficiency. We won't put that next to the shop where we're going to be building lots of commercial decorations. Okay. I know you can do it. After all, you're a bit of a celebrity around here now. And that backpack isn't slowing you down one bit. My thighs are killing me. Fair enough. This is why you should never skip leg day. Well, if you ever need a break from all that collecting, stop on by. I can teach you all kinds of things. If you ever feel confused or lost, a little education will fix you right up. What can I teach you about today? Uh, okay. Well, um, teach me about Haversack Hill. It's the safest, coziest place in all of Odaria. But there's always more to do here. What do you want to know about? Uh, resources. Let's practice our counting. One, food. Two, building materials. Three, treasure. We need all of these resources to upgrade the town. By selling items at the store, you can get all of them. Bigger items are worth more than little ones, and rarer ones are worth more too. Of course, you can also earn these resources through buildings or by finding special items in the dungeon. It's up to you to decide what to spend resources on. You can use them on new constructions, but you can also use them to research new items and quests that will give you new challenges in the dungeon. And we do need to do quests, because those lost sparks, the way that we get further in the dungeon, they come from doing quests. Standard runs just give us cheese. And I imagine some quests might even be repeatable, but I, I don't know if you'd get lost sparks for those sorts of quests. Nevertheless, we need to be doing that to be progressing the actual story and opening more and more of the game up. Some tough choices will teach you a bit about responsibility. Uh, I see. What about history? Well, what can I teach you about Haversack Hill? Um, where is Haversack Hill? Well, it's right here, honey. You're in it. <sighs> That's on me. I set the bar too low. But if you mean more specifically, Haversack Hill is surrounded by Oakshire Forest. How lovely. Oakshire Forest can be a dangerous place. Oh, maybe not lovely. It's filled with bandits and often attacked by the treacherous Badger King. There are many entrances to the dungeon, some scary, others common places for new adventurers to go looting. Some say the challenges you face and the objects you bring determine where the dungeon leads. Beyond the forest to the north and west is the Badger Kingdom. Not too long ago the Oakshire Forest was a part of it, but General Stumpy and his heroes with the patrol have managed to drive them away. To the south, however, is the Great Swamp, a dangerous and mysterious place where they say magic comes from. The amphibians and reptiles from there are great wizards. To the east is the great mountain range where the bird kingdom lies. It is said that their leaders, the Three Talons, are thousands of years old. It is also said to be an island not far off the coast, with a whole kingdom on it. Some sort of mysterious animal as they're called a dog. But I've never seen we saw etchings of this. Odaria is a vast place, and I'm sure there is more to discover, and beyond that... On a clear day on the coast, you can see the tops of trees in the distance. The world could be so much bigger than we think. Well, that was actually quite a lovely history lesson. Who built Haversack Hill? Your mum was a founding member. And, of course, there was Lord Quillish, Quillswish, the original mayor. He could raise an army with a single speech. And a young little me had quite the crush on that dashing lad. His son is uh, okay, too. <laughs> Poor mayor. Mayor Quillswish Jr., uh, what happened here? Well, it happened when you were just a little kid, and I was barely old enough to help run my dad's old fruit stand. Your mum, Prada, was worried about something and ran off just before sundown. A few hours later, we saw the flicker of flames and the smell of burning wood. King's men. 
They had been seen raiding villages across the forest, taking every able-bodied animal and conscripting them to the army. They were so strong and efficient. As soon as it started, it was over. My mum and dad were taken, and so was every other adult I knew. Mayor Lord Quillswish was old then, and he tried his best to keep the town together. But when he died, that last glimmer of hope went with it. But then you found that backpack, and things started to go right again. I hope we can rebuild this place. As it expands, we learn more about the world around us and the dungeon beneath us. Okay, well, that was quite a lot to take in. I'm uh, not going to lie. Um, is there anything else I can teach you about? Mm. Will do. <laughs> Remind me to ask about the dungeon next time. <laughs> Miss Burrow, thank you very much for that lesson. It was genuinely enlightening, but that was a lot all at once. All right, let's go and talk with Dad. Got so many people to see. Are you planning to go back into the dungeon again? You know I am. And I can't talk you out of it? You can't. I can't stop you from going, but maybe I can encourage you to go with some armor? You start- oh wow, okay. Dad's got a quest for us as well. Okay, fair enough. That's some nice armor. Sure, Dad. I, why not? Hello, Mia Quillswish Jr. I need- oh, sorry. Mia Mia Quillswish Jr. I need a place to stay, and what better spot than amongst my adoring constituents. I see you have already built a home for new voters. Increasing the population of Havsec Hill will create new opportunities and bring new special guests. Your votes don't count without a valid address. Ah, uh, okay. Towns aren't just about buildings. They're all about how you organize things. I think we could sell even more stuff if we had some proper decorations around our store. Try these. Commercial decorations. Fantastic, we needed these. And some of these could help, too. Commercial decoration pot. Okay. Place these adjacent to the store. They'll draw in some more customers. In build mode, if you hover over the store, you should see a nearby decorations highlight in green. I'll think of more ways to drive business soon. Uh, okay, well, we don't have much to play with. Oh, actually, no, we've got enough. Oh. Well, I mean... Oh, they're not close enough. Damn it, I wanted these to do double duty. Oh. Can I move something? Hmm. Let's see. Did that give me back everything I spent on it? Please tell me it did. Numbers look good. Tonk. There we go. Um, actually, no. It looks like I may have not come away with all the money I wanted. but Oh, I can't afford it. Oh, does it increase? Ah, it does. It does. All right. But if we pop our head in here, we should see that the uh, library is now 105% efficient, which is nice. And how about in here? Uh, let's go ahead and sell the everything. Bom, 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 bom. Don't need any of that. It gives us a good bit of cash. Now, of course, I could have built the big stages and made sure I was using them as I went, but this is fine too. Let's pop one down there, and I think that's all that we're going to be able to place. This is now up to... See, uh, it's 115 percent. Very, very nice. And this is 110. I'm super happy with that. Okay. Well, it looks like we should be building the. Po oh, what? I thought that our <laughs> value went down. Scallywax snuck over there. All right. Uh, let's go for the store first. I think we will get more out of that. Oh. Oh wait. Oh, I see now. I see the, the range it has. Right here. So we do want to, to have two spots between them. Fair enough. I do like that it lets me do this, though. Oh. Oh, no. No, we don't. Um, I do like that it allows me to get everything back when I when I demolish something, though. That, that is pretty nice. That is very, very nice, in fact. Uh, we're going to destroy these. And I'm going to move them across. A little bit of organizing. Making sure that this place has got access to all of the crates it can. Because they're going to make a lot of difference for us. But this one will get us a uh, will just get us a little bit of extra efficiency. That that's glorious. One hundred twenty percent there on the shop. Right. Okay. Well, we've got a couple of quests now. Let's have a look at what we're going to do next. Uh, I think it's ninja time again. Okay. So our two quests: the protector. You start with these items: the wooden sword, a knight's armor, liquid armor and the spiked helmet, or archery lessons. Archery is a really fun mechanic in the game, 
So, and we won't be able to find melee weapons in this run at all. I think we're going to go with this. Uh, it'll, it'll, it'll introduce a new mechanic to the game entirely. So first we want to pop down our shield. Now, the way the bows work is a bow, at least in, in some of them, uh, this composite bow is a good example of it, will fire the first arrow in each row. So, obviously this row and this row. It only has two rows and it'll only be able to fire two arrows. And these arrows are not particularly great, they're weak arrows, but for every sp uh, space to the right of them, and this does change with the way you rotate it, you can, in fact, fire them backwards, which is very funny when you do it. Uh, but for each empty space to the right, will increase the damage of the arrows. This bow starts off, you'll always get the first volley for free, but then each subsequent volley will cost a little bit more. But if you're interested in seeing how bows will work in practice, then you're going to have to wait until the next episode, I'm afraid. I do hope you've enjoyed this episode, though, and we'll be tuning in for the next one. But until next time, and as always, from myself and, of course, from Purse the Ninja, do take care.